evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome. Welcome to our Fresh Air Soiree, featuring the 2023, as has ever already been said, the 2023 Strathmore Artists in Residence class. Give another hand, please. My name is Joshua Jenkins. I'll be playing piano tonight. I was playing organ on that one, but I'll be playing piano for the rest of the night. And I'd like to introduce uh, some of the members of the band that you see around you today. Uh, something unique about this concert is that every one of us has selected a piece that means something, means a lot to each of us. And so um, let me just go around and introduce. First, we have multi-instrumentalist and vocalist Kevin Elam. Through the incredibly talented vocalist, Dominique Bianco. The guitarist, Connor Holdridge. The cellist, Aaron Murphy, Snedeker. And at the drum set, we have Joe Palmer. Give a hand as well. So that's the class this year. Let me introduce the mentors as well. Uh, we have on the bass, Michael Bowie. Sir Michael Bowie, Sir Michael Bowie. At the steel pan, we have Victor Provost. He was my mentor. We also have the lovely Lynn Verano. And last, but absolutely not least, we have our, our musical director, our advisor, and our coach, and also an incredible, incredible musician herself. We have Kathy Fink. Yes. So uh, the second tune you're gonna hear now um, well, this one you're gonna hear now is called O Pato, and it's the one that I selected. It is a Brazilian bossa nova tune, and it is about, the title is, um, it's called The Duck, and it's about two ducks, a goose, and a swan making music together, because why not write a song about that, so.
Mas o dedê te pediu Fale pra também no samba No samba, no samba, o canto Gostou da dupla fez também Quem, quem, olha pra si Jesus diz assim Vem, vem, que a coteta ficará bem Mas pode o bom, pode o bem Não, pera Andrew Bird is a violinist and vocalist and songwriter and whistler and, 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 and. And he is one of the first bowed string instrumentalists that I heard take an instrument like the violin, like the cello, and make it into a vehicle for really beautiful lyrical songwriting. It's the first time that I, I heard that sound and said, oh, I could do that. Uh, so this is uh, this song, Pulaski at Night, is um, especially near and dear to my heart. I find it singing, I find myself singing it all the time and I'm really excited to share it with you tonight.
This next number commemorates the life and the times and the music of French jazz guitar legend Django Reinhardt. This is this is Made in France by Birelli Legren. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? 
So poetry is a tool that allows us to sweeten and, and soften and understand some things in life that are not so easy. And I think Jimmy Webb did exactly that when he composed The Moon's a Harsh Mistress. Mm -hmm. Wasn't that lovely from Lynn Birano? <laughs> the piece I'd like to present to you tonight is the only one on the program without a known composer. It is a traditional Anglo-Scottish ballad that made its way over to Ireland. 
and it's about a young lad who's pressed into the Navy and goes off to war, and his, his lass is uh, lamenting that he is off in the lowlands of Holland. And I've invited my good friend, Kathy Fink, on the banjo to join me for this one.
Hello. This song, next song, Power of the Gospel. This song is about the power of the gospel, obviously. <laughs> the power of prayer and the power of faith, right? And the importance of that in our everyday lives. This song was written by Ben Harper originally, arranged for this concert by myself and Abe Mamet. So, thank you.
from the power of the gospel to the lullaby of the heart. Omar Sosa, Cuban-born pianist, wrote this beautiful lullaby. And uh, as it was explained to me, they did a play on words from the African Cora and Corazon, which in Spanish, it means heart. So here we are, Corazon. Putting my own spin on an American songbook classic tonight. Um, this is I've Never Been in Love Before by Frank Loser.
this instrument, the steel band, was born on the island of Trinidad, in the West Indies, and it grew up with its musical counterpart, Calypso. This next song was written by the greatest Calypsonian to ever live. His name was Alwyn Roberts, but the world knew him as Lord Kitchener. He wrote amazing music for the world and for this instrument. This is called Pan in Harmony.
It's hard to believe that we are a week away from Thanksgiving, isn't it? Don't blink, folks. It goes by faster and faster. And uh, as I think about Thanksgiving, there's so many different things that go through my mind. One is, of course, the people I'm going to get together with that I'm excited about seeing. And of course, the other is the people that we've lost. There's a lot of people who are going to be sitting at their Thanksgiving tables wishing somebody else was there. And the last three years have been hard. It's great to be here with 3D people and to appreciate that. One of my many pandemic activities has been a weekly songwriting session with my dear friend and pal Tom Paxton, Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award winner. And Tom and I have been writing songs together off and on for about 30 years, but when the pandemic kept us from leaving our homes, we started a weekly 10 a.m. Wednesday Zoom songwriting session. And it still goes on. We wrote a bluegrass song this morning. We probably, through all of this time, written about 75 songs together. There's a brand new album called All New with 28 of them. And this is a song that we wrote as part of a suite of songs that are what we like to think of as community songs, as uh, it, amongst the many hats that we wear as, as folk singers. The idea that when we sing together and we bring community and we raise our voices together, something very special happens. So I'm going to invite you to sing on this song. You've got the easiest part in the world. I'm going to sing, and I'm grateful. And when it comes around, you just sing grateful with me. That's all you need to do. Except I know there's some people out there who sing harmony, that'll happen too. And this song was written also in honor of our very dear friend, Grace Griffith, who is no longer with us, but one of the DC area's finest singers in the Celtic tradition. that will not 
not die. I'm grateful as the years go slipping by. I'm grateful to be able to sing this song. My gratitude to you is ever strong. got you warmed up. You're going to sing on this last song with us. I want to reintroduce everybody on stage. What a remarkable class we have, the 2023-2024 class of Fresh Air. Make sure that you get those tickets because you heard all the talent on stage and you know they're all going to sell out. Reintroducing everybody here on the drums, we've got Joe Palmer. Victor Provost on the steel drum. Michael Bowie on the bass. Kevin Elam. On the guitar, Connor. Dominique Bianco. Lynn Verano. Joseph Palmer. Jenkins. And the wonderful Kathy Fink.
They made paradise and put up a parking lot. It's your turn now. Sing it out. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? They made paradise. 